talk about and describe how the idea of getting the coaches involved came about and then how you presented it to the coaches and their reaction and all that good stuff. You know, it's, it's funny. Uh, one of the biggest requests that we've had as an organization is um, to do a football uh, clinic. And I was I had the opportunity to talk with Phil about the idea. He's in, in right when I said it, he's like, you know what, figure it out. So I got with Jay Kaiser and and we said, you know, we don't want to just do it small. And, you know, Coach Philbin's vision, really, he wants to do it bigger. He wants to do it where we don't turn down coaches. Everyone can come, and we can teach them the game, not just a cookie-cutter event, but where our coaches can be intimately involved. And so from the genesis of it, we wanted to make sure that this event was about what's going to best impact our coaches, what's going to give them the best opportunity to be better coaches, but then also, you know, extend that information that all of our NFL coaches have onto high school and youth football coaches, and that, that's, the, that's the heart of this. And, you know, it's, it's cool to see it kind of come to fruition tonight, um, to see our coaches, you know, involved. Like, you know, I'm a former NFL player, and I'm sitting here, my juices are going, because, you know, this is the same cut-ups that we did when we were in the classroom. So, you know, they're not sugarcoating it. They're giving them real football, and that's the fun part, to see, you know, the same things that we're instructing our player, the same thing Coach Philbin's instructing his coaches, and the same thing that we're giving these high school and youth football coaches tonight. What was the time period when you first approached Coach with the idea? Um, we talked to him about it uh, middle, uh, very briefly last year in the football season, and in January uh, we were working, you know, learning out the details, and about six weeks ago, uh, it really started coming together. Then it became an organizational um, heartbeat, literally. Like, you know, I can point every department in our organization to play the part in this, from video to, you know, janitorial staff to, you know, you know, every every department had something to do with it because it was such a big project. It was fun to do because, you know, we're stronger together, and literally the, for something like this to happen, everyone had to come together. And, you know, if you look in the room, it's stronger um, together, sounds were up. And it's really about being strong together. This this is about how do we allow you know high school and youth football coaches have all the tools that they need to teach this great game that we benefit from on a daily basis. And it's been fun to see Coach Philbin get excited about it. It's been fun to see all the coaches get excited about it. You see them in the hallway. Hey, I'm ready. You know they hope they're ready for me. So that's been fun to kind of you know watch us kind of get together around the community and be able to leave this information with them tonight. And you, you, as you mentioned in your speech, more than a thousand coaches showed up. Obviously, quite the response. Yeah. Um, so right now we have over, um, I think it's so probably exactly it's like twelve hundred and something coaches literally signed up. Now you know that's it's a four day event, so you divide that by each room. It may not seem like it's a lot in each room, but it's a lot of coaches that we're going to impact. We can't we can't ever teach every single child and young man in South Florida. But if we can get every coach, now, you know, those 2,000, 3,000 coaches that we can impact can now go out and impact hundreds of thousands of kids. And that's our goal, teach the teacher. And then that coach can go out and, and train our young athletes in South Florida. And as you mentioned, you're hoping this is the first of, of, of yeah, a series. Absolutely. I, I think, you know, you know, now we're, we're working out, we're kind of ironing out the details. Um, you know, like already I see that, you know, something that was supposed to be five minutes turned into a 15-minute talk because once coaches start teaching and they're teaching to people who want the same information, you know, you can't give it to them in, in just a couple of minutes. So if you just saw our first, you know, you saw Coach Feldman, he started talking. Well, that was supposed to be three or four minutes. Well, that was a 10-minute speech. And every coach has been doing the same thing because there's so much information that they have inside of them that they just want to pass on. And when you have an audience that really wants to learn, it's hard to stop. So it's been fun to watch that. So I don't mind running over tonight because the amount of information that we'll be able to pass on to these coaches, um, you're talking about transforming a game, transforming um, South Florida. And, you know, people wonder why South Florida has the best football in the, in the country. Well, a lot of it has to do with the men that uh, are teaching tonight. What, if any, uh, fundamental differences do you think needs to be exemplified between high school coaching and, say, the higher upper levels like college and professional? Well, you know, it's funny. If you talk to a coach long enough, they all say the same thing. I wish when my athletes got to high school, they knew this. And it all starts from Pee Wee. So it's all the same information. How do you tackle is the same way how you tackle in the National Football League. How to block is the same way you tackle, I mean, block in the National Football League. So it's really about getting the basic information. And then, you know, the schemes and what cover two, cover three, you know, a four-man front or, or a five-man front, all that stuff, 
you know, that's just little adjustments to the detail. But the the, the base, um, you know, the the basic lessons of how to play the game of football, you know, it transcends every single level. It trans, you know, you have youth football, high school football, college, and the NFL. It's all the same stuff. It's just guys are bigger and faster. That's the only thing that changes. So we're focusing on the basics. So when a guy, when a coach is able to walk away from this event, they're able to walk away understanding the game of football more intimately. Now, when they speak to a young man, like Coach said, that you know, why should they know? Why do they need to learn this information? Well, tonight we're going to tell them why they need to learn the information, and then how to in, instruct their their uh, athletes. I think the game becomes safer. The game becomes better. Um, it's the greatest team sport in the world, that, and I believe that if a young man or a woman plays football. It's the only sport where you can't have one dominant person be successful. You need to have 12 people, I mean, I'm sorry, 11 people, <laughs> 11 people, <laughs> you need 11 people at the same time working in the same direction, and every CEO in the country wish they had, you know, every person that come to work for them, those attributes. So our goal tonight is to make sure that, you know, they understand the heart of the game of football, learn the basics, teach young men and women how to play together, and you'll be successful. Yeah, I um, what do you think is the best way for coaches to encourage their athletes to focus on academics as well as football? Um, I believe in the hook. You know, the hook is football. So I have a I have a 12 year old son, and before he could play football, he had to read a thousand books. And he started playing football when he was 10. So any and I coach you football. So I tell our coach, I tell our um, our parents, you know, when report cards come around, the hook is football. If if for some reason that hook is not catching me, they're not catching the academics, they're not doing their homework, they're not doing the things that they're supposed to be doing, we take football away. So the best way to get kids to focus on sports, I mean focus on academics, is using sports as the hook. And if they, and if they love that sport, well they'll do whatever it takes to be successful. So that's what we do with a young man, whether it's our Dolphins Academy, our football camps, high school coaches, youth football coaches, that's what we teach them. Loud, um, the allow the sport to be the hook, and if they can, you know, if they can get their academics, they get to play. If they don't, well, they don't get to play the sport. Twan, how has it changed when you were little? Did you play your pee wee too? I know you went yeah, to school. Yeah, I, I started when I was five. So where did you play your pee wee ball? I played here. I played Lauder Lakes Vikings. So you were Lauder Lakes Vikings, which is a good program <laughs> yeah, out that yeah. way. What, how has just the changed overall? I mean, that's going over everything, but just how has it changed when you were playing Pee Wee Lauder of Lakes Vikings to just how kids are playing today? Knowledge. I mean, it's, you know, as, as we grow in our knowledge, we are provided, we're able to provide a better product. And if you see what we're doing with um, USA Football, you see what we're doing with, you know, um, heads of football, in the, I mean, uh, high school um, player development in the National Football League, it's all about knowledge. The more information you give coaches, the more information you give young athletes, the better they're going to be um, able to play the game. And I think that's the exciting part. If people always say, well, kids run faster and, you know, they, they make tackles better than we did when we were younger. Yeah, because they, they have so much more exposure to the game. You know, they learn in a different way. You know, I didn't learn cover two until I got to high school. Well, we're teaching cover two and cover three on the youth level. It's not, you know, it's not gimmicky football anymore. It's, it's we're teaching the game of football. And that's the exciting part. I think the, the sport is only, only going to grow. It's only going to expand because as we are able to give more information, um, the game becomes safer. It becomes more exciting. You have, now we have more women playing football than we ever have before. Uh, we just started a uh, flag football league with a um, middle school flag. And we have in every middle school in Dayton Borough County, we have middle school flag football, women's and, um, and boys football. And now you have women's high school football. So the game's expanding, and it's only expanding because the more access you give people, the more value it plays in their life. Awesome. Thank you, Tom.